Mosey, I've been thinking. Yes, Charlie? Well, there ain't no use of us both going to do it. Now that I've had time to study it, I can plainly see it's a one-man job. You couldn't be more right, Charlie, dear. Well, now, Rosie, I'm glad you agree with me. When the time comes, I'll put you off on the East Shore. You'll wait there for me while I attend to the Louisa. Certainly not. You're the one to be put ashore. Me? This whole thing was my idea, wasn't it? I'm the logical one to carry it out. Why, Rosie, I'm surprised at you. You're a very sensible woman, as a rule. Now, we won't have any more talk along those lines. Now, look here, Charlie Ornett. I can manage this boat every bit as well as you can, and you know it. Rosie, you're cracked. Didn't I steer going down the rapids? You steer well enough, but you don't know nothing about the engine. Suppose she broke down on you out there. Wouldn't you look foolish? Now, me, I... Just walk back from the tiller and do a thing or two to that old engine. You know, spit on her, kick her in the slacks, and she go right to work again. Oh, she knows who's boss, all right. You bet that old engine does. I suppose you're right. Ah, well, now, that's all settled. I'll dive off a second before the crash and swim over to where you'll be waiting on the east shore, and we'll be off to Kenya together. No, I meant it may be necessary for you to come along, Mo. Come along? What do you mean? Didn't we just agree this was a one-man job? But you convinced me that it isn't. So now it's settled. We'll go together. Oh, no, we won't. You wait for me on the East Shore. Who do you think you are ordering me about? I'm the captain, that's who. And I ain't taking you along. You'd only be in my way. I suppose I was in your way going down the rapids. Then what you said to me back there on the river was a lie about how you never could have done it alone and how you'd lost your heart and everything. You liar. Oh, Charlie, they're having our first quarrel. Oh, Rosie. It's only that I just can't bear the thought of... Well, what I mean is, suppose something should happen. Not that anything will, but... Don't you understand, Charlie? I wouldn't want to go on to Kenya without you. Oh, Rosie. All right. It'll be you at the tiller and me at the engine. Just like it was from the start. 